Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Docker uh, with graphical user interface. So let's get started. First thing, obviously, log into the server. Uh, I already have Ubuntu server set up that doesn't have Docker. We're going to install Docker and then we're going to install uh, the graphical user interface. Um, it's called Portainer. So let's log in. First thing we're going to do is update the packages. Once your packages are updated, we're going to install some dependencies. I already have it installed. Let's get the GPG key for the Docker repository. And we're going to add Docker repository to our system source list. We're going to run apt update one more time. And we're going to install Docker CE. Apt install Docker CE. Press enter to those prompts and we're good. So now Docker has been installed. We can check the status of the Docker container for Docker package. You can see it's active. Next thing we're going to do is install Portainer uh, in a container. That is what we're going to use to manage our Docker package uh, through graphical user interface. So let's select the directory where we want to put. Uh, I'm just going to create a directory called Docker on my home folder. And I'm going to create Docker volume create. And then we need Portainer to store data somewhere. So we're, we need, we're going to create a volume here. I'm going to call it Portainer data. Uh, obviously run with sudo. And we, we have created the volume. Now we're going to install the Portainer server in a container. And these, these are the commands we need to run. So portainer underscore data. Make sure this is correct because this is the volume that we just created. This slash data would be the volume within the container. So host and this is container. So I'm going to press enter. Note uh, the port number is here. Uh, the port number within the container would be 8000 uh, and dash P would be on the host, which means our Ubuntu server uh, where Docker will, will be accessible, uh, where Portainer would be accessible, so to say. Uh, it would be on port 9443. So we're going to press enter. And once again, I forgot sudo. So sudo and then run the command. Is going to pull the images, install them, extract them, and should be finished quickly. As you can see, it's completed. And now I'm going to do ifconfig to get our IP address. Looks like it's not installed. Let's install it. Wanted to show. Just wanted to show what the IP address is. So I have IF Net Tools installed now. IF Config is part of Net Tools. So I'm going to press Enter. And ENS 160, that's our network card. And that's the IP address of the server. 
So let's go to the browser and we should be able to access no issues. I'm going to go to 10.37.0.7.9443. That's our port number. And notice I'm going to press enter and it is listening, but it's asking for HTTPS. So we're going to have to use HTTPS and advance, proceed, and there we go. So we can set up our password here. Username you can change if you want. I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want my any sort of data collection. Create user. We're going to do add environment. Doc, actually, let's go back to home. And local is already added. And that's it. As you can see, we just installed one of our container and it is accessible. And you can do a lot of things from here, uh, but I'll post them uh, in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and comment if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.